Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitch and Embroidery and Design. I'm going to show you how to resize your pattern or design. Sometimes I call it that. And the best way to do it is to, uh, in the well, the best way not to do it is to select your design. You can either select it by clicking this color block or by just um, selecting the design here, left clicking it. And you do not want to go up here to the corners and just drag the handles because sometimes if you do this, see it reduces the size of it quickly, but it doesn't always auto adjust the density like it should, and it just isn't real reliable. So uh, the software has a great resizing feature built into it, and that's what we're going to use. Let's click undo this arrow here. There we go. It undid it. And then we'll go back up here to Tools, Resize Pattern. And uh, Lock Aspect Ratio, I have to keep that checked all the time. And I keep Auto Adjust Stitch Density checked. Because uh, when you do that and you um, resize your uh, design, the uh, software will auto adjust your stitch density. And uh, it Usually for me, stitches out perfectly. I've even went down as far as 50%, either up or down, and it's stitched just fine. Usually I don't go any further than 25. Depends on the design, though. Some designs you can resize real easily. You can go real big or real small. Just depends on the digitizing. And then measuring percentage of initial size. You can also do it by percentage. A lot of times I do that, but often when I'm uh, trying to get a size for, say, for instance, a logo on a a shirt like a left chest logo. Uh, I like to have them around 3.5 so I will turn this off and I'll do for instance like width 3.5 and then when you click OK it's resized. Let's click undo again and I'll show you what happens if uh, you have some of these boxes unchecked here. Go back up to resize pattern. You can also do control R and if you uncheck this box here, and let's say, okay, I'm going to do it 3.5, and I click OK, see it's kind of squished up looking, and it doesn't always do it proportionally like it should. Or, you know, if you want to make it look funky, you can leave it like that. Anyway, that's all there is to it, and that's how to resize a pattern. Thanks for stopping by.